In the second tutorial, I assume that you've already done the initial registration process with Google Apps. And what you need to do now is verify your domain ownership. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and open a new browser. And we're going to go to our mail. And this will be whichever email account that you had originally registered your domain under. In my case, I'm using Cloud Tech LLC, my email. And I see that I got an apps do not reply from the Google Apps. And in this email, there's information about how to set up and configure. Um, there's tips on how to and everything. But the first step we need to do right here, step two, is um, we need to go ahead and verify our domain ownership. But to do that, let's go to our control panel by clicking on the link here. It's going to prompt us to log in. We log in and now we're at our control panel and there's a step here that tells us that it wants to verify our domain ownership. So we're going to click on verify domain ownership and there's two methods that we can use to, to verify our domain. We can use, either use an HTML or a CNAME and I'm going to recommend you go with the CNAME because doing so gives you the most flexibility and control. And essentially what we're going to have to do is it's telling us that it wants to create this unique CNAME record for this domain and we're going to point it to Google.com. To do this, we're going to have to log in to our domain name service, which we're going to do right now. So I'm going to open up another browser, Google Chrome again, and my DNS service is with GoDaddy. So I'm going to log in to GoDaddy now. And now that I've logged in, I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to my domain manager. And now we see a list of all of my domains. And I'm going to scroll down until I find appsetup.org. That's the domain name that I'm using in this example. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And that brings us to a control panel where we can control all of our DNS settings. Now, to remind you, if you're not using GoDaddy, it may take a little bit different navigation sequence to get here. But once you're here, what you're looking for is to be able to control your DNS controls and your MX records. And the first thing we're going to do is once we clicked into that, we get a complete list of all of our CNAME records as they're set up. Now, right now, I'm not going to change any of these setups other than what's required to properly set up Google. And so what Google Apps wants us to do here again, switching over to the other browser, is we want to create a new CNAME record that's this value. So I'm going to right click on that and copy it. And keep in mind, we're going to point this to Google.com. So let's switch back over to GoDaddy. We're going to add a new CNAME record. The alias points to google.com. Go ahead and leave a time to live of one hour. It doesn't really matter. Whatever default in, in your DNS says system is fine. Uh, if you know GoDaddy is probably one hour. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And we get a message from GoDaddy that tells us that the new record was successfully created. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. Now you can see that after I create the CNAME alias um, it's still saying that it's pending setup and this usually takes a minute so what we'll go ahead and do is refresh the screen it's still pending setup now I paused the video for about a minute so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and refresh one more time and it should be done by now and sure enough we see that the host CNAME record is now set up and it's pointing to google.com so at this point, we've concluded what we need to do in GoDaddy as far as setting up our first verification record. And I'm going to go ahead and log out of this screen. If you're doing more setup, you may not want to log out, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I'm back at Google Apps, and I'll go ahead and verify the name at this point, because if I've set everything up properly, this should work. I'll go ahead and click Verify. Now the one thing I do want to bring your attention to is this note box right here. We're checking domain ownership. This may take 40 hour, 8 hours to complete. I've never seen it take 48 hours to complete, uh, but just realize it may not necessarily 
always happen immediately. So what you're going to want to do is come back, verify your domain ownership, come back in to add a CNAME. Now you don't have to go through this process of actually adding it again because you've already added it in GoDaddy. And you can click verify again. And eventually what's going to happen is this is going, this message is going to go away uh, to activate Google App Services. That message when it goes away means that the domain verification is complete and you can kind of set up, you know, set up and start moving forward to your next steps. And that concludes this tutorial and now you know how to get Google Apps both set up as well as verified and you can check out our other tutorials to learn how to set up your different services and use Google Apps. Thank you very much.